Chapter 2 Stripey There on the path was a strange creature. It wasn't scared of Debbie, but it didn't look fierce at all. It looked at her with friendly black eyes. Its face was a bit like a dog's, but with a longer nose. And Debbie saw that it had a stripe right down the middle of its head. A bit like her. It was a badger. A real one. Hello, mate, whispered Debbie. What's your name? The badger sniffed and snuffled in a friendly way. Do you want to be my friend then? asked Debbie. OK. I'll call you Stripey. How about that? The badger didn't want to go in the house, but he seemed to want to stay with Debbie. She took him across to an empty pig pen. When she opened the gate, he went in and sniffed around in the straw. That's right, mate. You have a good snuffle, said Debbie. See you later, Stripey. She felt happy and excited. She had always wanted a pet of her own. At breakfast that morning, she did not say anything about Stripey. But she did ask Mrs. Rudge if she had ever seen badgers round the farm. Used to, said Mrs. Rudge. Not any more, though. Farmers dug them out, said Mick. Bad animals, badgers. They spread diseases. Fierce, too. Bite your leg off. If you see a badger round here, you tell me, and I'll shoot him. After they'd done their morning chops, the three children were all together again. Listen, said Debbie, I've got a secret. Promise not to tell anyone. They promised, and she took them to the pig pen. Stripey peered up at them. There he is, said Debbie, my mate Stripey, my pet. You can't have a badger for a pet, said Norman. They're wild animals. He looks tame to me, said Kieran. Well, I think we ought to tell Mick and Mrs Rudge, said Norman. You promised, said Debbie fiercely. He looks hungry, said Kieran. I wonder what badgers eat, said Debbie. Do you know, Norman? I'll look it up in my animal book, said Norman. He soon found the place. Badger, nocturnal mammal, lives on earthworms, roots, small insects, mice, etc. Also fond of eggs. Eggs, said Debbie. We've got plenty of eggs. I'll get him some. Debbie brought some eggs from the farmhouse. Stripey lumbered over to the eggs, sniffed at them, and started to eat them. Look at that, said Kieran. He's as bad as Norman. He's eaten a lot. <whistles> then he turned in alarm. Mrs Rudge and Mick were standing right behind them. So that's what all that badger talk was, said Mick. My friend Mr Barker might be interested in a stuffed badger. Don't let Mick shoot him, said Debbie. He's my pet. I won't, said Mrs Rudge. But that's a wild animal, not a pet. That badger's got to go by tomorrow morning. Don't worry, mate, whispered Debbie to Stripey. 
if you're going, I'm going with you.